Poverty in the UK is a complex issue. It affects millions and has far-reaching consequences. This guide will explore the many facets of UK poverty. We will learn about its history and current state. We will examine the causes from economic policies to social inequalities. We will hear stories of those directly affected. These stories will offer a human perspective. They will show how poverty impacts individuals and families. We will also look at the systemic issues. These are the broader factors that contribute to poverty. Understanding the causes and effects of poverty is crucial. It helps us find effective solutions. This guide will highlight some of these solutions. We will discuss the role of government, charities and individuals. We all have a part to play in tackling poverty. This guide aims to educate and inspire action. Together, we can strive for a fairer, more equitable UK. Poverty is not new to the UK. It has been a persistent issue throughout its history. In the 19th century, the Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes. Factories grew and cities expanded, but this period also saw widespread poverty. Many people labored long hours in dangerous conditions. Wages were low and housing was often overcrowded and unsanitary. The Victorian era, despite its image of progress, had a dark underbelly of poverty. The early 20th century saw some improvements. Trade unions gained strength and fought for better working conditions. The government introduced some social reforms. These included pensions for the elderly and limited forms of unemployment insurance. However, poverty remained a significant problem. The Great Depression of the 1930s brought about mass unemployment and hardship. It highlighted the need for a more comprehensive welfare system. The Second World War, while devastating, also became a catalyst for social change. The end of the Second World War marked a turning point. There was a collective desire to build a fairer society. The National Health Service, NHS, was established, providing free health care to all. Social housing programs were expanded, offering affordable homes. This period saw a significant decrease in poverty rates. By the 1970s, economic challenges began to erode this consensus. The election of Margaret Thatcher in 1979 marked a significant shift in British politics. Thatcherism, as her ideology became known, emphasised individual responsibility and free market principles. It promoted privatisation, deregulation and a reduction in the role of the state. These policies had a profound impact on poverty in the UK. While Thatcherism aimed to create wealth through economic growth, its benefits were not felt equally. The decline of traditional industries like mining and manufacturing led to mass unemployment in many parts of the country. The gap between rich and poor began to widen. Although Thatcherism is often credited with revitalizing the British economy, it also led to increased social inequality. The legacy of Thatcherism continues to be debated today. Its impact on poverty is complex and multifaceted, while some argue that its emphasis on individual responsibility led to greater opportunities. Others contend that it eroded the social safety net and left many behind. In section 4, New Labour and Beyond. The election of Tony Blair's Labour government in 1997 marked a departure from Thatcherism. New Labour sought to create a third way, combining elements of free market economics with social justice. They introduced the minimum wage, increased investment in public services and implemented policies aimed at reducing child poverty. These measures had a positive impact, particularly on child poverty rates, which fell significantly. However, poverty remained a persistent problem, particularly in certain regions and among specific demographics. The financial crisis of 2008 had a devastating impact on the UK economy. This led to austerity measures, including cuts to public spending, which disproportionately affected the poorest in society. The debate about how to tackle poverty continues to this day. Different political parties offer different solutions, ranging from increased welfare spending to promoting economic growth and job creation. The challenge remains to find effective and sustainable ways to reduce poverty and create a fairer society for all. Section 5, The Numbers Today. 
Despite being one of the world's wealthiest nations, the UK struggles with persistent poverty. Today, millions of people across the country live below the poverty line. This means they lack the income to afford basic necessities like food, shelter and heating. Statistics paint a stark picture. Over 14 million people live in poverty in the UK, including nearly 4 million children. These figures represent a complex reality encompassing various forms of deprivation. In-work poverty is a growing concern, highlighting the inadequacy of wages for many. Regional disparities are evident, with certain areas experiencing significantly higher poverty rates than others. London, despite being an economic powerhouse, grapples with high housing costs that push many into poverty. These statistics represent individuals and families struggling to make ends meet. Understanding the scale of the issue is crucial for developing effective solutions. The figures serve as a stark reminder of the challenges ahead and the urgent need for action. Section 1. The Economy's Role The UK economy plays a significant role in shaping poverty levels. While often viewed as a separate entity, it directly impacts people's lives. When the economy thrives, creating jobs and opportunities, poverty rates tend to decline. However, economic downturns, recessions or shifts in industries can lead to job losses and financial instability. The 2008 financial crisis, for example, had a profound impact on the UK, triggering austerity measures that disproportionately affected low-income households. The type of economic growth also mattered. If wealth is concentrated at the top, with limited wage growth for the majority, poverty can persist even amidst overall prosperity. This highlights the need for inclusive growth where the benefits of economic expansion reach all segments of society. Policies that promote fair wages, job security and opportunities for advancement are crucial in ensuring that economic growth translates into a reduction in poverty. Section 2. Wages and employment, a complex equation. Employment is often seen as a pathway out of poverty and indeed it plays a vital role. However, the nature of work has changed significantly in recent decades. The rise of insecure, low-paid jobs, often referred to as the gig economy, has created new challenges. Many individuals and families find themselves trapped in in-work poverty where even holding down a job doesn't guarantee a decent standard of living. This is often due to low wages, unpredictable hours and a lack of benefits such as sick pay or holiday entitlement. The minimum wage, while providing a safety net, is often insufficient to cover the rising cost of living, particularly in urban areas with high housing costs. Addressing in-work poverty requires a multi-pronged approach. This includes strengthening workers' rights, promoting fair pay agreements and providing opportunities for skills development and career progression, enabling individuals to access better paying, more secure employment. Section 3. The Cost of Living Crisis The cost of living crisis in the UK has exacerbated existing poverty issues. Essential expenses such as housing, energy and food have risen sharply, putting immense pressure on household budgets, particularly those on low incomes. The rising cost of rent and house prices is a major contributor. In many cities, finding affordable, decent quality housing is a significant challenge. This forces families to choose between paying rent and other essentials, leading to difficult trade-offs that impact their well-being. Energy bills have also soared, pushing many households into fuel poverty where a significant portion of their income is spent on heating their homes. This can have severe consequences for health, particularly for vulnerable groups such as the elderly and those with pre-existing medical conditions. Addressing the cost of living crisis requires urgent action to control rising prices improve energy efficiency in homes and provide targeted support to those most affected. Section 4. Beyond the paycheck, social factors. Poverty is not solely an economic issue, it's deeply intertwined with social factors that create and perpetuate disadvantage. Discrimination based on race, ethnicity, gender, disability or sexual orientation can limit opportunities and create barriers to escaping poverty. For instance, ethnic minority groups in the UK often face 
higher unemployment rates, lower wages and barriers to accessing quality education and healthcare leading to a higher risk of poverty. Similarly, people with disabilities may encounter challenges in securing employment and accessing services, increasing their vulnerability. Addressing these social inequalities is crucial for creating a more equitable society where everyone has an equal chance to thrive. This includes tackling discrimination in all its forms, promoting diversity and inclusion, and ensuring equal access to opportunities and resources, regardless of background or circumstances. Section 5, the benefit system, a safety net. The UK's social security system, including benefits and tax credits, aims to provide a safety net for those facing financial hardship. It provides essential support for individuals and families struggling to make ends meet, covering costs such as housing, childcare and disability-related expenses. However, the benefits system has faced criticism for its complexity, stringent eligibility criteria and the impact of recent reforms. Benefit cuts and freezes have reduced the real terms value of support leaving many struggling to afford basic necessities even with this assistance. The introduction of universal credit, while intended to simplify the system, has been plagued with issues including delays in payments and administrative challenges, pushing some into hardship. There is an ongoing debate about the adequacy and effectiveness of the benefits system. Many argue for a more compassionate and supportive approach, ensuring that benefits provide a genuine safety net and a pathway out of poverty, rather than trapping people in a cycle of dependency. Section 6. A cycle of disadvantage. Poverty often operates in a cycle, passed down from one generation to the next. Children growing up in poverty are more likely to experience a range of disadvantages, impacting their life chances and perpetuating the cycle. They may face limited access to quality education, healthcare and nutritious food, impacting their physical and cognitive development. Living in poverty can also lead to significant stress and anxiety, affecting mental health and well-being. This cycle of disadvantage can be incredibly difficult to break. It requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the root causes of poverty, provides targeted support for children and families, and creates opportunities for social mobility. Investing in early childhood education, affordable housing, and accessible healthcare are crucial steps in breaking this cycle and creating a fairer future for all. Section 1, Children in Poverty, a Lost Generation Childhood should be a time of joy, learning and opportunity. However, for millions of children in the UK, poverty casts a long shadow. Growing up in poverty affects their health, education and future prospects. They face poor nutrition, inadequate housing and limited educational resources. Stigma and social exclusion impact their self-esteem and mental well-being. Children from low-income families often fall behind in school. Breaking this cycle requires investing in early childhood education and support. Section 2. The elderly facing poverty in later life. Retirement should be a time for relaxation, enjoyment and spending time with loved ones. However, for a growing number of older people in the UK, poverty is a harsh reality. Pensioner poverty has become a pressing issue with many struggling to make ends meet on fixed incomes. The rising cost of living, particularly for essentials like heating, healthcare and food, has put immense pressure on pensioners' budgets. Many rely heavily on the state pension, which often fails to cover basic needs, leaving them vulnerable to financial hardship. Social isolation and loneliness are also significant issues for older people living in poverty, particularly those who may have limited mobility or access to support networks. Addressing pensioner poverty requires a multifaceted approach including ensuring the adequacy of the state pension, providing targeted support for those struggling with the cost of living, and tackling social isolation through community initiatives and accessible services. Section 3. Ethnic minorities, a disproportionate burden. Poverty in the UK does not affect all communities equally. Ethnic minority groups often face a disproportionate burden of poverty, experiencing higher rates of poverty and deprivation compared to the white population. 
This disparity is rooted in a complex interplay of factors, including systemic racism, discrimination in employment, education and housing, and barriers to accessing opportunities and resources. For instance, certain ethnic minority groups may face higher unemployment rates, lower wages, and limited access to quality education and healthcare. Cultural factors such as language barriers and unfamiliarity with the UK's welfare system can also contribute to the challenges faced by some ethnic minority groups. Addressing this inequality requires a commitment to tackling racial injustice, promoting equality of opportunity and ensuring that policies and services are culturally sensitive and accessible to all. Section 4, Disability and Poverty, a complex interplay. Disability and poverty are often intertwined, creating a vicious cycle that can be difficult to break. People with disabilities face significant barriers to employment, education and social participation, increasing their risk of poverty. The additional costs associated with living with a disability, such as specialised equipment, accessible transportation and personal care, can place a significant strain on household budgets, pushing families into poverty. The benefit system, while intended to provide support, can be complex and challenging to navigate, particularly for those with cognitive impairments or mental health conditions. Discrimination and prejudice against people with disabilities can further limit their opportunities and exacerbate social exclusion. Creating a more inclusive society requires removing these barriers, promoting equal access to employment, education and services, and challenging negative attitudes and stereotypes. Section 5. The Geography of Poverty – Unequal Impacts Poverty in the UK is not evenly distributed. Certain regions and communities experience significantly higher levels of poverty and deprivation than others. These geographical inequalities reflect historical factors, economic shifts and disparities in investment and opportunities. For instance, former industrial areas that have experienced significant job losses may struggle with high unemployment and poverty rates. Coastal towns heavily reliant on tourism can face seasonal poverty with limited employment opportunities outside peak seasons. Within urban areas, deprived neighbourhoods often lack access to essential services, quality education and green spaces, creating concentrated pockets of poverty. Addressing these geographical inequalities requires targeted investment in deprived communities, promoting job creation, improving infrastructure and ensuring equal access to essential services and opportunities. Section 6. The Human Cost. Stories of struggle and resilience. Behind the statistics lie real people with real stories. Hearing their voices is crucial for understanding the human cost and fostering empathy. Consider the single mother working two jobs to provide for her children. Imagine the elderly person choosing between heating their home and buying groceries. These stories highlight the resilience and strength of those facing adversity. By listening, we can better understand the challenges and work towards a fair society. A multifaceted challenge, a collaborative response, Tackling poverty in the UK requires a multifaceted approach involving government, charities and community action. It's a collective effort from all sectors of society. The government sets policies and provides a safety net. This includes welfare, public services and fair wages. Charities fill gaps, offer support and advocate. From food banks to debt advice, they provide lifelines. Community action, driven by lived experiences, is essential. Section 2, Government Initiatives, Policies and Programmes. The UK Government has implemented various policies and programmes aimed at alleviating poverty. These initiatives provide financial assistance, improve access to services and promote social mobility. One key policy is the national living wage for workers over 25. Concerns remain about its adequacy in high-cost areas. The Government also provides benefits and tax credits to support low-income families. However, the benefit system faces criticism for complexity and stringent criteria. Investment in education and healthcare is crucial for breaking the cycle of poverty. 
Programs include early childhood education, free school meals and mental health services. Section 3, the role of charities filling the gaps. Charities play a vital role in supporting those experiencing poverty, often filling gaps where government provision falls short. They provide a wide range of services from emergency food aid and shelter to debt advice, employment support and mental health services. Food banks, for example, have become an increasingly vital lifeline for those struggling to afford basic necessities. Run by a network of volunteers, these organisations provide emergency food parcels to individuals and families facing crisis. Homeless charities offer shelter, support and advocacy for those experiencing homelessness. They work to address the root causes of homelessness, such as poverty, lack of affordable housing and mental health issues. Debt advice charities provide guidance and support to individuals struggling with debt, helping them to manage their finances, negotiate with creditors and access available support. Many charities also focus on empowering individuals through education, training and skills development programs, enabling them to access better paying jobs and improve their long-term prospects. Section 4. Community Action Empowering from Within Addressing poverty effectively requires recognising the knowledge, resilience and aspirations of those directly affected. Community action, driven by local people and organisations, is crucial for developing sustainable solutions that meet the specific needs of each community. Community-led initiatives can take many forms, from setting up community gardens and food co-ops, to providing peer support groups and organising skills sharing workshops. These initiatives often empower individuals, build social connections and foster a sense of ownership and agency. Community organisations often have a deep understanding of the challenges faced by local people and can tailor their services to meet specific needs. They can also act as a powerful voice for change, advocating for policies and resources that address the root causes of poverty in their communities. Supporting and investing in community-led initiatives is essential for creating lasting change. This includes providing funding, resources and capacity building opportunities, enabling these organisations to thrive and expand their impact. Section 5, a call for systemic change, addressing root causes, addressing immediate needs is essential, but tackling root causes requires systemic change. This involves challenging and reforming systems that perpetuate inequality. One crucial area is the economy. Promoting fair wages and secure employment is key. Addressing the housing crisis is critical. Increasing social housing supply and regulating rentals are essential. Education is vital for breaking the cycle of poverty. Investing in early childhood education and improving school standards are crucial. Uh, section 6, Towards a More Just Future. A collective responsibility, creating a more just and equitable UK requires a collective effort and a shared responsibility. It demands addressing the systemic factors that trap people in poverty. Recognising the inherent dignity and worth of every individual is essential. Building a poverty-free UK is a matter of justice. It's about creating a society where everyone has an equal chance to succeed. This requires a long-term commitment from all sectors. It demands challenging the status quo and working together. The journey may be long, but it's worth taking. By working together, we can create a society where everyone has the opportunity to live a life of dignity and purpose. Section 1. The Urgency of Action Poverty in the UK is a complex issue with far-reaching consequences. It affects millions, impacting their health, well-being and life chances. 
As we have seen, the causes are multifaceted, ranging from economic policies and social inequalities to individual circumstances and systemic barriers, from the history of poverty and the impact of government policies to the struggles faced by different demographics and the vital work of charities and community organisations. This guide has sought to shed light on the many dimensions of this pressing issue. The statistics paint a stark picture, reminding us of the scale of the challenge. However, behind the numbers are real people with real stories, stories of hardship, resilience and the enduring human spirit. The urgency to act is clear. We cannot stand idly by while millions struggle to afford basic necessities, while children go hungry, while families are trapped in a cycle of disadvantage. Addressing poverty is not just a moral imperative, it's an economic and social necessity. Section two, a call for compassion and change. Creating a poverty-free UK requires a collective effort, a shared vision, and a commitment to compassion and change. It demands a shift in mindset, moving away from blame and judgment towards understanding, empathy, and a belief in the potential of every individual. It requires recognizing that poverty is not inevitable. It's a solvable problem. Solutions exist from investing in early childhood education and affordable housing to promoting fair wages and strengthening the social safety net. But solutions require action, action from policymakers, businesses, civil society organizations and individuals alike. We can all play our part, whether it's volunteering our time, donating to charities, raising awareness or challenging injustice in our communities. Every act of kindness, every voice raised against poverty, every step taken towards a more just and equitable society makes a difference. Let us strive for a UK where everyone has the opportunity to thrive, where poverty is not a life sentence but a challenge we overcome together.